I'm Amy Gross. I'm a mother of three. Um, I was born in Florida but live in Texas. I am a mom blogger and I'm also a tech startup CEO. So whenever I stayed home to have children, I was a little restless and I really enjoyed writing. And so I started um, a website called Mom's Toolbox because this was way back before blogs were really all that big and I felt like there needed to be a great way for moms to communicate and just to kind of hear each other's stories and, and be real. So many times women feel like they can't share how hard it is and that makes you feel kind of lost and frustrated and sad. Even as a believer, I have struggles and I have questions, you know, both in my life as a believer and in my life as a mom. And I wanted people to have a place that they could see that and learn from that. So I love SOAP because it's so simple. What you do is you read this passage and then you figure out S-O-A-P. What is the scripture that's like jumping out and grabbing me? What is God saying here? Observation, what am I observing in this scripture? Application, how can I apply that to my life today or tomorrow? And then prayer, what is my prayer that has to do with this scripture and this observation, this application so that I really can apply it to my life and my day and move forward? It was July of 2008 that uh, there was a, a scripture and it was, God was saying to me, you're gonna grow your faith by sharing your faith. And I, I set my journal down and I mean, I can remember coming and running through the house and telling my husband, I'm like, Gary, this is it. Like, this is what I'm supposed to write about. This is what I'm supposed to do. It was an exciting moment because it gave me something to focus on and to, it made me feel like my writing actually was gonna make maybe make a little bit of a difference for somebody. I remember at the beginning, um, it was kind of really to keep myself accountable. I felt like there might be somebody out there who cares about this, we'll see. And it wasn't too far in that my mom, I found that my mom was listening and reading my soap posts. And I felt like if that's the only Bible my mom is getting, I better, I better keep this up. And through the years, more and more people have been following me in that regard. And it's been a lot of fun to hear other people's thoughts and to see what verses people are you know, hearing in the same passage. When I first started sharing my devotions online, I was nervous because I thought I didn't have this massive church upbringing. So whenever I started blogging about my faith and saying, look, I don't know how to pronounce this. I don't know what's going on with this. And you know what? I might even get one of the disciples' names wrong, but here's what I heard. People responded to that. And it was really refreshing to find out that other people felt the same way. I love that you can use soap for a teeny tiny passage, a really big passage, and it helps you to take whatever it is that you're reading and narrow in on what God wants you to hear that day. And what amazes me is that each time, the verses are different. Like it's not the same message every time. And I love that the Bible is this living, breathing word that, that breathes into you what you need to hear and how soap helps me to find that and really apply it to what I need right then, that day. For me, it actually did make reading the Bible a whole lot less intimidating because I had a plan. You know, it was just this little bite-sized plan each day. And it made it something that it wasn't um, as scary to do. And using soap helps you to really hear what God has to say, no matter the devotional plan. It gets you to open up that big scary book and see that it's actually pretty cool in there. <laughs>